Over the past decade, Ethiopia has registered impressive economic growth, averaging 10.9%, which is double the regional average. This growth in turn helped Ethiopia to significantly reduce poverty. Over the last decade, Ethiopia has made tremendous progress in its fight against poverty. This has been largely attributed to uh, the investments in the various poor, poor sectors, uh, such as education, health, agriculture, social protection, etc. Uh, key among them is the investment in agriculture, giving the agriculture base of, of the economy. Uh, this result has been sustained and has been broad based over the last decade. However, Ethiopia has come from a very low base, so the fight against poverty will continue to be a main uh, development priority for this country for years to come. According to the World Bank Group's latest poverty assessment report, both poverty reduction and human development growth have been remarkably consistent. Pro-poor government spending has helped to reduce poverty and increase access to key services such as health and education. The Productive Safety Net program alone has pushed 1.5 million people out of poverty. Yet, the report reveals that poverty remains widespread and that the living standards of the very poor is worsening. So one of the key findings of the report is that um, infrastructure investments are actually a key complement to agricultural growth when it comes to reducing poverty. So we find that agricultural growth reduced poverty, but only in places that were close to cities of 50,000 people or more. And it had no effect on, on poverty for those living further away from cities. So what this suggests is that Focusing on urbanisation and increasing urban demand as well as improving access to urban centres for remote households is important to ensuring that agricultural growth contributes to poverty reduction in Ethiopia. High food prices have been beneficial for agricultural growth, improving incomes um, and well-being of farmers in rural areas but they have had a, a, a negative effect on the very poorest, on marginal farmers and poor city dwellers who purchase most of their food. While Ethiopia should continue focusing on agricultural growth and pro-poor investments, which are key to ending poverty, the report points out that the potential of migration and non-agricultural growth was largely missed. Structural changes, especially in increasing wage employment outside of agriculture, increasing access to markets for those with non-farm enterprises, and helping households overcome constraints to urban migration, could also help Ethiopia to further reduce poverty. In the urban area, uh, poverty reduction requires a different approach. Uh, key among them is the creation of jobs and quality of jobs, and this will require support to uh, small and medium-sized enterprises, but as well as large firms that can create large number of employments. Because vulnerability is no longer geographically defined in Ethiopia, a uh, safety net program is also needed in the urban area to protect those uh, poor households against sudden food price increases. Ethiopia has made encouraging strides in poverty reduction, yet 25 million people are still living in absolute poverty. The Poverty Assessment Report provides key insights to help Ethiopia further reduce extreme poverty and ensure shared prosperity among its citizens. Mm -hmm.